Hey, I'm Scott Schober, President and CEO of Berkeley Baratronics. I'm here with Cameron DeGangi. How are you doing there, Cameron? I'm good, Scott. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Well, we're here to talk about the Wire Badger, which is really used for testing bad USB cables or evil USB cables. First of all, maybe for our, our viewers, what is a bad USB cable or an evil USB? Yeah, a bad USB cable is a USB cable that looks like a normal one, but it has embedded hardware in it and it has chips that allow you to uh, program payloads that can then be deployed uh, either when it's plugged in to a target device or remotely through Wi-Fi and Bluetooth modules. Wow. Maybe just to give our, our uh, viewers some background, a number of years ago the NSA spent a lot of money in R&D developing a bad USB cable that had this embedded hardware in it. The program was called Cottonmouth. That information eventually got out there and a hacker actually took the concept of it and reduced it to a cable but made it affordable. What's the price of a, a bad USB cable if somebody wanted to get their hands on it and cause mischief? So it depends on the uh, model and brand of the cable but they can range from anywhere to $50 to $200. Wow, that's, that's an attractive price for somebody that wants to get into some uh, trouble. I guess the problem is since you can't discernibly tell the difference, they're relatively affordable, hence the, the wire badger really to test to see if there's hardware that's embedded inside this cable. Yep. Okay, well why don't we take a sneak peek and just try it out and see, see kind of how it works. Here's a regular type A to lightning cable which I use this oftentimes to charge my iPhone. So let's plug it in and the unit's already on here. You just turn the power on, plug it in, does an automatic scan, right? Yep. And there it goes. It says the cable is clean. It gives you a green screen there. So you know that this cable here is clean and there's no malicious payload in there or hardware or anything else. So, uh oh, now we got the one with the orange. Let's do the next test here. Let's start it up again. And again, I will insert the cable here. Plug in the front with the lightning and let's let it scan. And oof. I see a skull and crossbone yep. and it says bad cable. So apparently this cable is bad. And of course, whenever I see a bad cable, I always like to knot them up so we don't accidentally ever use it or put it into anything. And it's that simple. This is just a sneak peek at our, at our wire badger. Now, I had another question because we talked about inside the module there was Wi-Fi and the potential for some that have Bluetooth. What could that be used for? Um, well, it could be uh, used to remotely deploy the payloads and if there's a keylogger uh, payload into this cable then you could monitor that keylog remotely. That's scary and, and, and hence also one of the reasons I guess you have the antenna here for yep. Bluetooth or Wi-Fi because we can actually scan because we have that built in here and we can actually demodulate and show the MAC address or the ID so we could identify if there's a bad cable wirelessly as well as wired. Correct. Great stuff. Well, look forward to seeing this thing uh, further develop as we dig into it even more. And uh, thanks for taking a little time and giving us a sneak peek, Cameron. Thanks for having me.